April. What is the Holy Spirit? And how do I know the Holy Spirit is with me? Hi kids. Hi Celine. Uncle Ben here. Thank you for your question regarding who the Holy Spirit is. And how do we know if we have him? Here's my quick answer to your question. The Holy Spirit is God. He's the third person of the Trinity. And secondly, you know you have the Holy Spirit if you trust in Jesus and your life has the fruits of the Spirit. Now let's try and see what the Bible has to say about all this as well. Before we talk about the Holy Spirit, we need to first remember that God is Trinity. Do you remember the song we sang at the start of the year? Three in one? We believe there is one God, but He's in three in person. God is one, but three in person. Three persons of the Trinity are God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. He is God's personal presence. Throughout the Bible, we see the Holy Spirit empowering individuals for specific tasks. For example, Joseph in understanding dreams, and prophets bringing messages to the people. The prophets knew that the Holy Spirit would come again to change people's hearts. Now, where have we seen the Holy Spirit before in the Bible? In Matthew chapter 3, we see the Spirit of God descending in the form of a dove during Jesus' baptism. And also, the voice from heaven proclaiming, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. We also saw the Holy Spirit present during the day of Pentecost, where a rushing wind and tongues of fire appeared above the people, giving them the ability to speak in tongues, and the works of God being understood by men from other nations in their very own language. Now, how do we receive the Holy Spirit today? In the Bible, it is shown that through repentance and obeying God, we will be able to receive the Holy Spirit as shown in the verses from Acts. Repenting means to turn away from disobedience, and obeying again is to show our love for God's Word. So, we know how to receive the Holy Spirit, or what is the Holy Spirit's purpose. He is a helper that teaches and reminds us about Jesus. He convicts us of sin, showing where we have gone wrong, to feel guilty about it, and to lead us in repentance. And lastly, He helps to transform our hearts and minds so that we can live holy lives like Jesus. Before we became Christians, the following verses show that we were spiritually dead. We were unable to receive things of the Spirit and were unable to submit to God or please Him. This was before the Holy Spirit entered us. We can only trust in Jesus when the Spirit works in our hearts, allowing us to say, I believe in Jesus. People of the Holy Spirit will show fruit of the Spirit, which means we'll be more and more holy like Jesus. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, the fruit of the Spirit are listed as being love, joy, peace, for example. If you are growing in love, peace, and joy, and kindness, then it is a sign that the Holy Spirit is growing in you. In conclusion, I hope the Bible has shown us the answer to Celine's questions. Who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is God, the third person in the Trinity. How do you know if you have the Holy Spirit? If you trust in Jesus and have the fruits of the Spirit, you know the Spirit is within you. Now kids, God made us to trust Him and live like Jesus. Would you like God's Spirit to keep working in your life so you can be more like Jesus? If so, please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit to help us understand your word and to be more like Jesus. We pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to work within us and that it will allow us to reach out to others that do not know you yet. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much and I hope I've answered your question.